Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors, standing inside the 2020 Yeti T816 PK. Now, why am I holding an ice auger? Because this is a toy hauler ice house. Wheelhouse, fish house, whatever you want to call it. This is an awesome vehicle. This is an awesome piece of equipment, especially when you're ready to get down into the ice hole, drill, make sure that the slush goes down there as well. You got the two modes on this ice auger really handy tool because when you're standing in something like this and you got seven holes to do your fishing in you're going to need something to entertain something to do some spacing and what yeti has done is they've given you something functional entertaining comfort and style all in one you got the cedar tongue and groove walls with the r7 foam block insulation on an aluminum frame even has tape that prevents condensation Got a rubber floor with R5 block insulation underneath here. And you take a look at these comfortable couches. Yes, this is a toy hauler, so you do have a garage. You've got the toy deck right there that lowers down. You can easily put an ATV in here, which would probably haul this thing out to the ice if you needed. But lift the legs up. This extends out into a bed. And you have a 600-pound capacity bunk right up here that lowers down if you need another bed. We move over to the ice holes. You got the LED lights, which adjust and move, making it a whole lot easier, especially at night, to kind of move around and make sure that you're not tripping or falling on anything. You can even get the inlays, the little rubber inlays to put over the handles so that the top stays flush and you're not tripping over it. I got my little wall mount right here. Storage is gonna be something you're gonna find really convenient on this T816 PK. Got a charging port in here, great space to put my rods, my lures, depending on what you're fishing for, walleye, bluegill, doesn't matter. Still got that cedar inlay in there, plenty of space and slides back and forth, so it could easily be a cooler. Opposite side there, tell you what, you don't have a rattler, you gotta get one. You got another sliding space there, great spot for a cooler. Or if you just want to store some stuff, you're going to notice that storage is all throughout this unit. Shaker style cabinets with the brush nickel fixtures there. Got more storage up top. We come over to the entertainment area. I mean, it's a great spot to sit and fish. And even with the bunk down, I am not cramped for space. 250 pound capacity bunk here, but you, so you can lift it up and have it mounted. Or somebody could be sleeping. You're taking your turns, trying to catch something. Oh, I missed one. No, you didn't. You absolutely did. You gotta have your equipment as well. If I grab one of these Markham depth finders, you even have the HD fish finders now, the cameras that you can mount a TV up here, plug it into and see the fish in HD. It's not this size anymore. It's right there in your face. Flip between the game and the catching the fish. Charging ports, got your USB or um, actually that's a bolt plug right there. Plug in, got your satellite connections, HDMI cables there camera plug there more storage space above your furion command center and since it is yeti you're going to have the led backlit shaker style cabinet so the strut supported microwave range top so when you get finished catching all that beautiful fish clean it got plenty of countertop spread uh, countertop prep space here glass cover on the three burner furion stove it's a grill style great led accents on the controls and you got your oven there. And you know, if these units are more than eight feet, um, you're gonna have a 25,000 BTU furnace to heat you up. That's gonna take care of making sure you're not freezing while doing the ice fishing. You even have a little closet that has storage in here, corner notched. This right here is the table that goes in between the two chairs. Uh, back in the toy hauler area. But more important than that, if you got one of those attachments for a bucket, this could also be your bathroom because you got plenty of space. And since there's an air duct down at the bottom with the forced air, you're not going to freeze in here as well if you need to use it as a privy. But I'm just a huge fan of these beautiful cedar tongue and groove walls with the light and the dark accents. And check that out. You see these all around too. That's an LED light and two charging ports. Because as you know, if you're going to drop your cell phone down the fish hole, might as well make sure it's fully charged. So we've seen the inside of this gorgeous T816 PK. Let's go check out the outside. Okay, so here we are on the outside of the Yeti 2020 
TH16 PK. And the one thing I really liked about this, my Green Bay Packer fans will love this, this green exterior. You got the rock guard down at the bottom. Of course, the V-nose camper, since this is an ice house, LED accent lighting all the way around. You got a fiberglass roof, fiberglass exterior, but these metal over covers right here are really going to help keep the elements off. Got dual zone fury and speakers. So if you want to do some entertaining outside, you absolutely can. The door doesn't warp to really help with that seal, making sure the no condensation gets in or out. Got the hand crank so that when you do set up, it lowers the wheel down. And these do come with molded wheel well covers, so you don't have to worry about the elements getting to those tires. <clears throat> come around to the back. This is a toy hauler. So you got your latch, lockable, and handle there. Folds down. Set up for backup camera with two additional security LED lights right there on the back. And tight fit right here on this side. But the black and green color scheme that Yeti came up with, beautiful. And since a lot of these can be used for more than just being an ice house, you're going to notice that the window's big to let in good, good amounts of light, but tempered and sealed all the way around. So you can use it on something for just camping. You don't have to use it just for ice fishing. Back of the furnace right there. Your 30 amp service right here. And two 30 pound LP tanks right there. So if you've been looking to upgrade that ice fishing experience, you want yourself a really good, sturdy, insulated, beautiful ice house, wheelhouse, whatever you want to call it. But you need a toy hauler to haul that ATV, maybe that whatever you need. You might want to come check out this 2020 Yeti T816 PK. Fantastic option. It's all about getting outdoors and having fun in the snow and catching that big 28-inch walleye. Never caught one, but I'm going to lie and say I did. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. What did you like about this unit? What did you not like? What would you like to see done differently? Changes? Give me any comment. I love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young from Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I look forward to seeing you soon. And as always, come check out an RV. I'll see you.